Averaging 128, and Eric uh, comes in averaging 125. All right, and they will, of course, be joined by our two incoming bowlers who qualified in a roll-off held in the Worcester area in Massachusetts from Southbridge, Mass., Steve Reno, and from Millbury, Mass., Rob Burkeel. Okay, Steve comes in averaging 123, and Rob at 126. All right, now, of course, uh, Steve and Rob will be trying to knock off either Tom or Eric. Remember, it is the top two in total pinfall that return week to week here on Candle Pin Skins. So that creates an interesting situation from time to time. Last week, uh, first place was settled pretty early, but second place went right down to the very last ball thrown in the match. And that's the extra excitement generated when you have four guys competing uh, individually. That's how it works here on Candle Pin Skins. Four bowlers competing individually. They will roll one box at a time. Here's a look at the rest of the rules now for Candle Pin Skins. Each box has a dollar value assigned. That is the skin or the dollar amount assigned to each box. Now, if a bowler rolls the high score in that box, for instance, if someone rolls a strike and no one else rolls a strike, they win the dollar value assigned to that box. If the high score is tied, a carryover is created. The jackpot rolls over to the following box. And again, the top two in total pinfall return each week with an opportunity to earn more money. The first three boxes in each game are worth $20. The next three are worth $25. Seventh, eighth, and ninth boxes are worth $30, and the big tenth box in each game worth $75. Two games we bowl here on Candle Pin Skins. If you're new to the program, welcome in. We think you'll enjoy it. It's bowling a little different than perhaps you've known it in the past. We'll be back to start our match here at Pilgrim Lanes in Haver right after these messages. There is power. Hi, I've been telling you that at Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire, you will find the best price from a dealership that cares. Well, let me tell you what you will find when you get there. First, when we can display Toyota, Dodge, and Nissan at one location, this is a rare opportunity for you to view the best selection of cars, trucks, and minivans in New England. Second, we are constantly adding cars and trucks to our used car inventory. So if it's a new or used car or truck, just remember Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire. new honey nut clusters with a taste everybody will love new honey nut clusters combines honey toasted flakes and honey nut clusters for a delicious honey nutty taste new honey nut clusters the taste everybody loves everybody just a natural fact of life. As we get older, some of our parts don't work as well. Fortunately, with older cars, you can get those parts replaced at Monarchy. Well, we take good care of every car, young or old, mufflers, brakes, CV joints, shocks, and struts, high quality parts and service at a reasonable price. Monarchy keeps cars of all ages running like new. Too bad they can't do anything about this 1949 classic. At Monarchy, you're not gonna pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. We are back here on Candlepin Skins. This roll-off held in the Worcester area. And the top two qualifiers, of course, advance here to Candlepin Skins. Steve Reno and Rob Burkeel, the two lucky winners. And you see some of the other scores among the top finishers. Paul Willits, just out of the money. So's Johnny Miller. Gary Casey and Gary Santoro tying for fifth place at 623. But Steve Reno, Reno and Rob Burkeel are here, and we are ready to start here on Candlepin Skins. Rob Burkeel will throw first. In fact, uh, speaking of Gary Santoro, 
who was uh, tied for fifth in this roll-off. Rob Burkeel is the current Massachusetts doubles state champion along with Gary Santoro. They won that tournament right here at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill back earlier this year. And Steve Reno starts with a spare. Rob Burkeel takes 10. And we're off and running. Steve Reno putting up that mark for a possible skin. By the way, the final roll-off for this Worcester area series was held at the rollaway lanes in Ware, Mass. My old stomping grounds. There you go. Yes. Tom Morgan and Eric Young on the lanes now, and Eric punches out just the one and the eight. Six weeks in a row now for Tom Morgan. And does he start with a spare? No. So that's going to give this first box skin worth $20 to Steve Reno. Tom Morgan takes a loud 10. And it'll be a 9 for Eric Young. Probably should clarify that, my old stomping grounds. I'm originally from Palmer, Mass, who Ware was a big rival in sports. So um, I just did some bowling in Ware. I was a resident of Palmer. Because we always beat up on him when I was in school. About, uh, what, six, seven weeks from now, we're going to have some bowlers here from the Springfield area. That'll make you feel right at home. That's right. You know, I was looking at some of the uh, people who made or almost made it. Johnny Miller, I used to bowl against his father when I was starting a long time ago. Great candlepin bowler in his own right. Haven't seen his son John in a long time. Actually, let me correct that as uh, Rob Burkeel puts up his first mark converting the single pin. Steve Reno takes 10, but he only got a five on his mark. We'll have those Springfield area bowlers here in just two weeks. Next week, our incoming bowlers will be from the New Hampshire area roll-off. And this is Eric Young, who qualified uh, in a Cape area roll-off at the Hanson Athletic Association. Eric actually uh, finished second in that roll-off to Jim Gregatis, but he came up with a huge week last week here. I talked to him after the show, and he just was in that zone, he said. He just felt real comfortable the whole match, and it certainly showed. Tom Morgan misfires. So it's going to be a $20 skin for Rob Burkeel with the spare here in the second. So the two newcomers have skins early. I'll correct that. Now that skin Give in the Rob. second going to Rob, okay. Third box now, and Rob Burkeel working on a spare. And straight through the middle for just three. And a strike for Steve Reno. Meanwhile, Rob trying to work out of this after filling his spare with just three. And it will be an eight box for Rob. So the eight for Rob Burkeel and this strike by Steve Reno in the third. Tight pocket hit. Almost didn't carry it, though. Well, he's thrown three boxes. He got a spare and a strike already. And a possible skin, unless one of these bowlers can throw the strike to carry it over. Tom Morgan looking for his first mark. He'll have a chance at a spare. Eric Young looking for his first mark. And he throws the half Worcester. So that'll give the skin to Steve Reno in the third. Indeed. For another $20. And no spare for Tom Morgan. Oh, oh he yes, did get it, it. He did get it. The ball came out of the channel and just tipped over the 10 pin. How about that? I saw it all the way. I saw it coming. <laughs> and it will be a nine for Eric Young. The skin still goes to Steve Reno, but Tom Morgan, who made three incredible shots in a row, for spares last week in the second game to help get second place. You thought that Wood would carry that triangle in the corner, but he took out the six and nine and it took the ball uh, away of Boston, I think, to come back and get the <laughs> 10. Steve Reno almost threw the double strike. Oh, wow. Hello, the one and the eight for Rob. Second time we've seen that happen today. Steve Reno, the go spare on strike, no. 
This is a $25 skin here in the fourth. Bob Rakeel giving this a run. There's the shot that Steve wanted. He'll take 10. And a seven box for Rob Burkeel. Candle Pin Skins brought to you in part by our great friends at Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Well, it's wide open. Just a 10 box up there for the skin in the fourth, worth, worth 25. Tom Morgan to fill a spare in the third. Oh, big ball. Eight plus a chance for another. Could win the skin also with the spare. As Eric Young will be open. Oh, and Tom misfires. Oh. So if one of these guys can convert a 10 box, we'll have a carryover. And there it is. So the carryover with 10s. Tom Morgan gets his 10 as well. And with no marks up here after four boxes, we can get a good look at the total scores. Steve Reno in the overall lead with Tom Morgan running second. And the carryover means that this fifth box will be worth $50. We're in our sixth week here in our new home, Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. And uh, we'd love to have you come by and see us during a taping of Candlepin Skins. Our next taping session will be November 19th. Great spare for Rob Burkeel. Steve Reno will take a try at his now after a long study. Yeah, it's a seven, nine, and 10, but all kinds of wood in front of the nine and the 10, and let's see what happens. Whoa, he got this seven pin, which you thought would probably be the problem pin, left the 10. As I started to say, Tuesday, November 19th, will be our next taping session for Candlepin Skins. We start at about 10 o'clock in the morning and go till about five in the afternoon. There's the spare for Rob Burkeel. Pilgrim Lanes is located off exit 51A from Route 495 in Haverhill, Mass. Right off the highway, very easy to find. And the strike for Tom Morgan. So once again, if you'd like to join us, November 19th, a week from next Tuesday, is our next uh, scheduled taping. Have a chance to watch Candlepin Skins as it is taped. Oh, great spare for Eric Young. That will take us to the break. Tom Morgan wins the skin with this $50 strike in the fifth. We'll be back with more in a minute. It's just a natural fact of life. As we get older, some of our parts don't work as well. Fortunately, with older cars, you can get those parts replaced at Monarchy. Well, we take good care of every car, young or old, mufflers, brakes, CD joints, shocks, and struts, high-quality parts and service at a reasonable price. Monarchy keeps cars of all ages running like new. Too bad they can't do anything about this 1949 classic. At Monarchy, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Going, going, gone! These are the final weeks to get top quality furniture at unbeatable prices. Bernard's Furniture is closing its doors forever in just a few weeks. Bernard's is going out of business with a bang! On Saturday, November 9th, come to Bernard's and you could win $1,000 while saving thousands on fine furniture for your home. Remember, these are the final week for huge savings. After this, they're going, going, gone! So get down to Bernard's Furniture and Bedding, 655 Mast Road in Tax Free, Manchester, New Hampshire. If you're ready for a new car, listen to this. Nashua Ford is already offering tremendous savings on new 97. It's true. In fact, Nashua Ford is now selling all in-stock 97 Ford cars in advance. Add up to $1,000 under dealer invoice. Buying or leasing for business or pleasure. Only Nashua Ford gives you the no-hassle way to get a new Ford. Add up to $1,000 under dealer invoice. Nashua Ford, the home of hassle-free, easy pricing. Nashua Ford, come in today. Enjoy more time at home with high-quality games from seasonal specialty stores. Regulation pool tables by Brunswick, Olhas, and many more. Ping pong, bumper pool, and poker tables. Token slots, foosball, air hockey, and darts. Hundreds of custom cues with free 30-day home trial. Call or come on in to seasonal specialty stores for your copy of our free pool table buyer's guide. That's seasonal specialty stores, 706 Route 101A, Merrimack, New Hampshire.
Introducing new Honey Nut Clusters with a taste everybody will love. New Honey Nut Clusters combines Honey Toasted Flakes and Honey Nut Clusters for a delicious Honey Nutty taste. New Honey Nut Clusters. The taste everybody loves. Everybody. Cheerios, and they're all for me. Nobody can say no to new Honey Nut Cheerios. No, no, you can't say no to the Honey Nut O's in new Honey Nut Cheerios. What's new is a better blend of real golden honey for a better taste and a bigger crunch. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O's in new Honey Nut Cheerios. No, no, you can't say no to new Honey Nut Cheerios. It's new. Everybody loves this stuff. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Rocking M Toyota Dodge Nissan. You're looking at Steve Reno from Southbridge, Massachusetts. Works for Columbia Farms in Webster. Right in the pocket, a little light maybe, and the two, seven, and ten. Well, the wood's rolling back. Oh, and on a spare, Rob Burkeel, just the half Worcester. I almost have to get this clean. I don't think the wood's going to help, Steve. Have to cut the two pin into the ten, have the ball take the seven. Mm. Actually, I think the wood might have deflected the ball around the seven. Great effort, and Rob right through the hole created by knocking out the three and the nine, the half Worcester to the right. This is a $25 skin here in the sixth. Steve Reno with a ten. Rob looking for a bailout, and he does not get it. A four box. Well, Rob has two marks, and his fills have been just three and two, and now a four box. So he's got some work to do. Eric Young on a spare. Misses the head pin, fills with six. Tom Morgan is working on a strike. And he misses the head pin. More favorable leave, though, in the one, two, four. Oh, great well, spare. Great shot is right. Tom trying to match it, and he does with a little help from the wood in the channel. And that creates a carry over in the sixth frame. And here, take a look at Eric's. The one, three, seven, and ten. So that means the seventh box will be worth $55 after the carryover. And Rob Burkeel will fire first. Rob from Milbury, Mass, works for the Norton Company. And he'll have a spare leave. Steve Reno. Oh, boy, that was wow. right in the pocket, the five, seven, eight. And Rob hasn't got an easy one. He's got the six and the nine up, but he's got a piece of wood way out in front. Trying to get by it, great oh, shot. That's a terrific shot by Rob. Coming right back after that tough four box with a big spare. Good confidence builder there. Steve tried to cut the five into the seven and eight. A little too full on the five, but drove it straight back. Leaves seven, eight for the 10 box. Make it nine. Tom Morgan and Eric Young both working on spares. Spare leads for this skin. Eric Young, the only man who has not won a skin so far, and Tom Morgan kicks them all out. Strike on spare. And Eric Young drops nine. Wow. So Tom Morgan has gone strike, spare, strike. He wins a $55 skin. Eric Young misses the single. Costly. It could be. He's neck and neck with uh, Steve for second. Tom Morgan with that strike is kind of pull out in front a little bit for first place. Here's a strike. Everything but the five, and then some help on the five. The eighth box worth $30. Steve Reno. Steve will have the triangle. Meanwhile, Rob Burkeel working on a spare. Needs to get a big fill here. Well, How that's about a that? pretty big fill. <laughs> <laughs> he had had a three and a two fill on his two previous spares. Well, no mark for Steve. Boy, this is going to tighten things up even further for second. 
Rob Verkeel was running fourth, but now he's gone spare strike. Ten box for Steve. Here's that strike again by Rob Verkeel on lane three. Not much doubt about it. Again, similar to Tom's, everything but the five, and then some wood coming into the five pin for the strike. It'll take a strike to carry this skin over, otherwise Rob Verkeel will have it. And there it, there is. it is. Eric Young takes it away. His first strike of the day. And Tom Morgan needs one of those to go. And it looks like he's going to be stuck with the 7-10. And the piece of wood that was out front is going to roll back. So that won't be any help, and he's just going to have to figure out another way. Well, I'd probably try the 10-pin because of the angle of the wood, but the ball's going to have to come back for him, I believe. Nope. The ball disappeared. So it's a nine fill on Tom's strike and a 10. So he's at 117, 116 rather. Oh, well, Rob threw that strike just a little while ago. He'll go first on lane number four. And this is a $60 skin now here in the ninth with the carryover. Oh, good-looking ball. Wow, on the Brooklyn side, look good. Steve Reno. Another great-looking ball, and he carries it. Wow. Well, Steve has been on the head pin the last several boxes, and he's yet to have a good splash on the ball. That time he did. And oh, boy. <laughs> we thought that was wired, the 7-8. He needed a little help from the ball to come back. Take a look at Steve's strike crossing over in the 1-2. One, 2 So again, it'll take a strike to carry this skin over, or else Steve Reno will win it. Tom Morgan off target. Now it's going to take another strike, and that'll be a double for Eric if he's able to do it. Wow. And he's left with the 7-10. So give the skin for $60 to Steve Reno. He's up to $100 already. Tom Morgan will be open, and he will have just a six box. And he was in the lead, but uh, they're gaining on him fast. Nine box for Eric Young. An eight box, rather. That's an eight. And an eight fill on the strike as well. Well, Rob and Steve are low men, but they both have marks up. This is for a double. And, oh, how did oh. that stay up? He's got a double piece of wood there. $75 skin here in the 10th. Now Rob Burkeel with three marks in a row working on a spare. And he'll take eight. Steve for the spare. Has it. Spare on strike. Rob for his spare, and he's got it. Four marks in a row for Rob Burkeel. Going to take a strike to win this skin. Rob will stay up there to fill his spare, as will Steve. Steve lost that one to the left, but he'll take a seven fill. Uh, make it a six fill. And just two for the fill for Rob Burkeel. That's been a bugaboo for him since the beginning of the program as he's had some low fills. You see the three, the two, and now a two in the 10th. 128 for Steve Reno, 124 for Rob Burkeel. Eric Young will have a split. Tom Morgan. Last chance to win this one outright by Tom if he throws a strike. Nope. So we'll have a carryover into game two. Boy, Eric almost made that one. Tom Morgan will have the uh, pinfall lead if he can knock one pin down with his last ball. Ten for Eric Young. These are going to be four very close scores here after game one. We do have a skin carryover. The first box in game two will be worth $95. And look at how close these scores are. Tom Morgan at 130, followed by Steve Reno, Rob Burkeel in third, and... 
Eric Young at 119, just 11 pins out of first place. One game to go here on Candle Pin Skins. We'll be back in a minute. Everyone at Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire is very proud and excited to again be a major sponsor of Stars and Strikes. We feel that over the years, you, the bowling enthusiast, have become a very important part of our family at Rockingham. And as such, I promise that we will live up to our pledge that we will provide you the best service you have ever experienced. And if you're purchasing a new or used vehicle, at Rockingham, we pledge that we will beat any bona fide deal on any Toyota, any Dodge, or any Nissan anywhere in New England. So just remember, Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan on Route 97 in Salem, New Hampshire. The holidays are here, and it's time to do your shopping at the Settle Shop in Amherst, New Hampshire. Browse their selection of handcrafted solid wood furniture. It's perfect for whomever's on your list. Now's the time to take advantage of their factory direct prices. The Settle Shop also has over 45 different paints and finishes, but shop early for custom finishing. Plus, their huge craft department has everything for those holiday craft projects. Give home furnishings for the holidays from the Settle Shop on Route 101 in tax-free Amherst, New Hampshire. prepared. See your Toro dealer before we get hit by another big one. On sale now at Benson's Lumber and Hardware. Get them while they last. What's so good about the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? Mm. It's an apple thing, right? Mm. Definitely the cinnamon. No way! It's the baked in taste. Sliced apples, cinnamon, and brown sugar baked right into every little O of apple cinnamon Cheerios. Baked in taste. That's what makes them good. Have you tried multi-grain Cheerios? I did that multi-grain thing back in the 70s. I don't want to do it again. I like them. No fat. No flavor. They're very good. Mmm, I like it. It's a 90s kind of thing. Introducing new Honey Nut Clusters. With a taste everybody will love. New Honey Nut Clusters combines honey toasted flakes and honey nut clusters for a delicious honey nutty taste. New Honey Nut Clusters. The taste everybody loves. Everybody. <laughs> We're back at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. Game one in the books on Candlepin Skins. And today's winning so far, Tom Morgan and Steve Reno, the big winners in skins money to this point. Robert Keel is on the board. Eric Young still looking to score his first skin of the day, but there's still one game to go, and Rob Burkeel is going to start it over on lane four. Rob, uh, after a slow start, Dan, he had just 50 through five, but he wound up with a 124, but he's just going to watch out for the fills on his marks. Wound up with six marks, though, in that first game. And he hammers out just the one and the five. Steve Reno just missing the head pin, but a much better leave in the one, two, four. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, he's hit the object pin both times, the head pin, and then I'm sure he's shooting at the two pin. And he still has seven pins standing. This is a $95 carryover skin here to start game two, and Rob bails out with a seven. Steve Reno takes 10. So the stage is open for Tom Morgan and Eric Young. Tom Morgan from Revere, Massachusetts. Works as a processor. Six weeks in a row he has been here, here on Candlepin Skins, every week this season. Eric Young. Oh, there's uh -huh. the strike to win the skin. Tom almost threw one, but he'll have to settle for a spare. Eric Young wins that $95 skin with this strike. Well, the crowd was teasing Eric between games because he hadn't gotten on the money dote board yet, but he's on there now. He just gave him the thumbs up. They're like, <laughs> I'm back. He's right in the midst of the total pinfall, though. There's none of the bowlers are really out of it there. It's extremely close. Rob Burkeel. Oh, big ball, and does he get it? No, the four pin will rock and stay. Meanwhile, Steve Reno's shooting at the three and the ten. A couple of good chances for spares here. Oh, wow. Two full on the three. 
And Rob has to watch his because that piece of wood is way out in front. Like and I said, whoa. Neither one gets a spare, wow. Boy, at first look, those both looked like makeable shots, but instead they become 10 boxes. And once again, Tom and Eric come up with no marks up there. This is a $20 skin. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon, Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire. The week two of our new series. A couple of weeks ago, in case you missed it, Paul Berger qualified for the Tournament of Champions. Ho hum. <laughs> Eighth time in nine years he's qualified. Well, Tom Morgan sent two, not one, but two pieces of wood in front of the Deadwood line. So John Mazzetti, our Bob line judge, is going to take care of those for us. And the spare for Eric Young, spare on strike. And Tom converts the single for the carryover. So we move to box number three, which will now be worth $40. Rob Burkeel and Steve Reno looking for marks here in the second game. Rob is off target. He's going to shoot the one, three, six, seven. Steve Reno back in the pocket. He'll shoot at the four and the eight. I should say Rob Burkeel off target, but he had a much better leave to work with rather than punching out the one and the five as he did the time before. And a spare for Steve Reno. Rob will take a nine box. Let's take a look at what happened on Rob Burkeel's shot. You know, the wood's going to take the seven, but gee, just flew around the six pin. Nothing came close to knocking that one down for the spare. Meanwhile, Tom Morgan working on two spares. And Eric working on a spare and then a, a strike and then a spare. Big fill for Tom, eight. And Eric fills it bigger with a strike and that'll be another skin, a $40 skin. He likes that Eric. lane number three. And the spare for Tom Morgan. So Tom Morgan and Eric Young each have three marks in a row to start this game. Here's the strike by Eric Young. Getting the tap on the eight pin, winning the $40 skin. Box number four will now be worth $25. Again, the scores at the bottom of the screen, the cumulative two game total pinfall scores. So you can keep an eye on what's happening. Steve Reno fills his mark with eight and Rob Burkeel has a spare leave. Two spare leaves here. They have to start putting some offense up. Tom and Eric are starting to draw away. Spare for Steve, his second in a row. And Rob oh, does not convert. It's the object pin, drove that three pin right straight between the five and the six. And he'll take a nine box. Eric Young on a strike. He'll have to make a cut shot. Does have a piece of wood to help though. Tom Morgan on a spare. And he kicks out eight. Spare is already up for this skin. Oh, Eric just missed. Great effort. Let's see if Tom can create the carry over. He does with his fourth straight spare in game two. Eric Young takes 10. The fifth box will be worth $50, and here's what happened on Eric's shot. Wow. Yeah. That would really prevent him from splitting the 3-6. $50 skin now here in the fifth. Ron really needs some marks. Oh, big shot there, leaving the six pin. Needs to convert the single. Steve working on a spare. Six fill and the diamond. Big shot for Rob here. It's been open every box in this game so far. Right on it for the spare. Big shot for Rob Burkeel. Keeps himself 
in the picture. I want to take a moment here to thank our friends at Romano's Pizza and Subs for their promotional consideration here on Candlepin Skins, located right on Primrose Street here in Haverhill, right next door to Pilgrim Lanes. A nine box for Steve Reno. Spare is up for Rob Burkeel to lead this skin, which is worth $50. Tom Morgan has four spares in a row to start this game. He's high man on the total pinfall chart, and he can increase that with this ball. Six, but he's got to shoot at the diamond now. Oh, and Eric, a half Worcester. Can Tom convert it? No. Unless Eric makes this, Rob Burkeel will have himself a skin, and he does for $50. Ten box for Tom. 81 at the halfway point this game for Tom. And an eight for Eric Young. He's at 77 at the halfway point. That skin goes to Rob Burkeel for $50 in the fifth, but he's got some work to do. Tom Morgan and Eric Young running one and two right now trying to duplicate their performance of last week. We're back in a minute on Candlepin Skins. Introducing new Honey Nut Clusters with a taste everybody will love. New Honey Nut Clusters combines honey toasted flakes and honey nut clusters for a delicious honey nutty taste. Nut clusters. The taste everybody loves. Everybody. <laughs> Champ, there's something wrong with my car. Could you take a look? I'll check it out. You need suspension work. Better see the experts at Meineke. Meineke does suspensions? Meineke doesn't just do mufflers and brakes. They do complete undercar care. Now, buy any Gabriel Gas Shark or Gas Strut at Meineke's regular low price. Get the second one at 25% off. This is a limited time offer, so hurry. At Meineke, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Going, going, gone! These are the final weeks to get top quality furniture at unbeatable prices. Bernard's Furniture is closing its doors forever in just a few weeks. Bernard's is going out of business with a bang! On Saturday, November 9th, come to Bernard's and you could win $1,000 while saving thousands on fine furniture for your home. Remember, these are the final week for huge savings. After this, they're going, going, gone! So get down to Bernard's Furniture and Bedding, 655 Mast Road in Tax Free, Manchester, New Hampshire. Herbert has it. Herbert Toyota, Portsmouth Avenue, Exeter, and Herbert Nissan, Portsmouth Avenue, Stratum. I'm Jeff Herbert. My family's been providing quality cars and trucks to consumers just like you for two generations. If you're in the market for a Nissan car, truck, or utility vehicle, come to Herbert Nissan today. I promise to do everything I can to make your buying experience a pleasant one. My dad, the first generation. Herbert Nissan, Portsmouth Avenue, Stratum. How about a little reward? A dozen roses. A brownie filled with fudge. A brownie. Presenting Sweet Rewards Double Fudge Brownies. Ooh, did you say double fudge? Yep, surrounded by a dark, moist brownie. Pardon me for drooling. <laughs> Go ahead. They're fat free. Get out. Sweet Rewards Double Fudge Brownies. They're from Betty Crocker, so your whole family will love them. You know, forget the flowers. I'll take a dozen of these. What's so good about the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? Mm. It's an apple thing, right? Mm. Definitely the cinnamon. No way, it's the baked in taste. Sliced apples, cinnamon, and brown sugar baked right into every little O of apple cinnamon Cheerios. Baked in taste, that's what makes them good. Have you tried multi-grain Cheerios? I did that multi-grain thing back in the 70s. I don't want to do it again. I like them. No fat. No flavor. This is very good. Mmm, I like it. It's a 90s kind of thing. All right, Steve Reno and Rob Burkeel are on the lanes as we come back for the final five boxes here on Candlepin Skins. Steve, five pins out of second. And, of course, Rob is trailing the field, but he has the only mark up here in the fifth. So that makes this a very big ball for Rob Burkeel as he is gaining ground on the field with this ball, but just two.
think maybe uh, Rob is thinking about those fill balls now. That's three spares that he's had two fills. Eight box for Steve Reno. Oh, and a great shot for a 10 for Rob Verkeel, but not what he had in mind on the fill ball. Let's take a look at that shot for the 10, though. Huh. Those are the shots you want to make for Marks. So that 10 by Rob leads for the skin at this point, which is worth $25. Tom and Eric already running one and two with a chance to increase their margin here with Rob and Steve putting up open frames here in the sixth. But two tough leaves. Really? Tom just shot at this diamond leave not too long ago, the three, five, six, nine. And he's got it this time. The wood might have helped in the back and Tom takes the skin. $25, Eric Young settles for a nine box. Take another look at that spare for Tom Morgan. Watch what the wood does. Just kind of stays there. That deadens everything. Kept that three pin in play. Tom Morgan up to $130. A $30 skin here in the sixth, or make it the seventh. And a big first ball for Rob Burkeel again. Steve Reno a little full. Well, possibilities that would maybe angled too far to the left. Rob Burkeel has his spare. He is not out of it by any means, Rob. No, it was. Not enough angle on it to carry the four and seven. Steve will take 10. Gives him 209. Eric is at 205 and a box in hand. And of course, Tom Morgan cruising at 221, and he has the only markup. And he'll fill it right now. And he should have thrown a little quicker. They were falling already. <laughs> Tom will have to re-rack as a pin came down from the top. So that just heightens the tension a little bit. Tom will go through his routine once again. Oh, now we're going to have a uh, piece of wood in the new rack. So Tom is going to have to re-rack again and try it again. While we have this moment, we can remind you that uh, tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, Candle Pin, Stars and Strikes, second week of our new series as we continue on toward our ninth annual Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. That'll be coming up in the spring. Paul Berger is the only man who has qualified so far. Now we have a clean rack on lane four, and Tom can fill that spare. if it was worth the wait. Just four on the head pin, but flush. Big ball for Eric, and he gets the extra pin, the two. He leaves just the seven. Good chance for Eric to get the skin. Actually, he creates the carryover with that spare. I'm sorry, that's right. Rob had a spare in the, in the seventh. Tom bails out with an eight. But that eight box and the mark by Eric Young will allow Eric to close the gap a little bit. And more importantly, Rob Burkeel closing the gap with that spare. So this carryover now in the eighth is worth $60, and Steve Reno will fire first. Steve just can't get two pins close together here. He's on the head pin the last several boxes, but can't carry that extra one. Meanwhile, Rob drops eight. Six and ten left for him. He's still in it. As is Steve. But Steve will be open for the fourth box in a row. And Rob converts the spare. Three marks in four boxes now for Rob Burkeel. Steve Reno takes ten. So Rob leads for the skin which is worth $60, but we get to the point now where we're watching total pinfall as well because it is so close, again, for second place. First is not a lock either yet. Uh oh Ooh, boy. Wow. 
Costly mistake there. Just, Just one. One on the fill for Eric. Tom Morgan gets a big kick out on the seven pin. He's just a 310 for Tom. And let's uh, leave the door open for Rob. Tom can create another carryover if he makes this spare, and he does not. So give that $60 skin to Rob Burkeel. Seven box for Eric, nine for Tom Morgan. So right now, all four bowlers. I think that was a six box for... Uh, You're right, it was a six box. For Eric. So that means all four bowlers now, Dan, over $100 in skins prize money with still some money to be decided. $30 here in the ninth. And 202 is low. Rob, he's filling this mark. Just five. Top man Tom Morgan being 242. So it's yet to be decided. Especially for second. Great battle for second. Very similar to last week. John Mazzetti, our lob line judge, doing a little more house cleaning over on lane three. And Rob Burkeel studying this very difficult leave for his spare attempt. Obviously, they're all important now. You want to give it a better run than that. He missed the object pin being the head pin. Steve Reno misses on his try, too. And just seven. That means advantage Tom and Eric still. As they are running one, two, and they are opposite open frames here. As you see, just an eight box for Eric would keep him in second place. Well, definitely going to go back to go down to that final tenth frame. Only have a 10 up for the skin so far. Tom is going to shoot at the diamond leave again. It's oh, on the opposite side. Oh, big oh. strike. Here comes lane number three. <laughs> he likes that lane. Give the $30 skin to Eric Young. That's Tom, Tom Morgan cannot convince, uh, convert the spare, Dan. That's a third strike on lane three. And he's one skin every time he th threw a strike over there. 10 for Tom Morgan. Here is Eric Strike. Wins the skin and solidifies his hold on second place. That forces Rob Burkeo and Steve Reno. They both need marks, big yeah. marks here in the 10th. I'd say Rob definitely needs probably a strike. Steve Reno's definitely got to have a big mark. No. Boy, it's going to be tough for both. The last skin of the day worth $75 here in the 10th. Ooh, Rob gave it a scare. But it's beginning to look like we're going to have our same two bowlers, perhaps in reverse order this time, returning for next week. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty safe to say that. He needs, uh, Eric needs three, four pins to pass Steve Reno for second. Tom is already in. Eric on his strike. Remember, this skin is still wide open, $75. No marks up there yet. But you might notice that the uh, Tom and Eric were. Look out. Look out. Might be in different order next week because of the total pitfall. Right. Eight fill on the strike for Eric Young. This spare could win the skin, and it does for Tom Morgan. He takes the last $75 skin of the day. Ten box for Eric Young, a 131. 250 two game total for Eric quite a bit under that perhaps might have been a nine box in the uh, tenth for Eric Young we'll have to check that Tom Morgan fills his last mark with eight a 140 for Tom and a two game total of 270. So once again, it's Tom Morgan and Eric Young. They will return and we will return to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill after these messages. There is
Hi, I've been telling you that at Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire, you will find the best price from a dealership that cares. Well, let me tell you what you will find when you get there. First, when we can display Toyota, Dodge, and Nissan at one location, this is a rare opportunity for you to view the best selection of cars, trucks, and minivans in New England. Second, we are constantly adding cars and trucks to our used car inventory. So if it's a new or used car or truck, just remember Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire. KitchenAid dishwashers help make a great evening of entertaining end on a quiet note. There's no need for pre-rinsing with the Sure Scrub multi-level washing system, plus the adjustable racks readily accept cookware. And the porcelain on steel interior offers premium drying conditions. CNR Furniture and Appliance presents KitchenAid dishwashers, dramatically styled, energy efficient, and quiet. CNR Furniture and Appliance and KitchenAid for the way it's made. deals with the best in used cars. I'm one of the chosen few, and I'm proud to be called a car lot car. You can own me regardless of past credit problems. It's no problem at the car lot. The car lot has programs for everyone, with down payments as low as $99 and payments as low as $29 a week. The car lot can finance you no matter what. So come on down and drive us home. We're waiting for you at the car lot. Next time I get to make the commercial. Honey, how come you don't bake for breakfast anymore? I never baked for breakfast. Yeah, that's right. I'm confusing you with my mother. Didn't your therapist warn you about that? Jeez. <laughs> I'd kill for cinnamon bread or... Strusel? Oh, Betty Crocker makes cereal. It's for people like you who crave home-baked taste and wives like me who leave it to Betty. Mmm. Brown sugar, cinnamon, icing swirls. And it's low in fat. Was your mother's? Nothing my mother made was low in fat. Except for me. New Betty Crocker cereals. <laughs> home-baked taste by the spoonful. Welcome back to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, and uh, boy, Tom Morgan has done it again. He's going to be back for his seventh straight week next week as he wins again, and also Eric Young, another terrific performance, uh, finishing second this time. Yeah, Tom, a little more consistent this week with 130, 140, and uh, Eric uh, just keeps mowing him down. All he's, right. he's here again. Let's look at our total pinfall now and check all the scores from uh, this week's show. Tom Morgan on the top spot at 270. By the way, that was a nine box for Eric Young, the final box of the match, so it is 249, not 250 as we mentioned earlier for Eric, but that is good enough for second place. He'll be back next week. Steve Reno and Rob Brickeel will have to come back and try again another time as they finish third and fourth. As for the Skins prize money, earned during this week. It was actually pretty close, although we mentioned uh, Tom Morgan, the low money winner last week. He's up on the top of the list this week. Eric Young second, and uh, Rob Brickeel and Steve Reno will also leave with some cash in addition to uh, $75 appearance fee for uh, getting on the program. So that's how it all came down here today on Candlepin Skins. We've got a little time. We want to talk to some of these bowlers. Let's have Eric Young come on up. As uh, Eric came up with a big performance a week ago, and we didn't get a chance to uh, say hello after that, but turn right around here, Eric, and face the camera. A terrific job. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you for last week, the 299, and then uh, another solid job this week, too. The place has been real good to me so far, and I had a spare one and a six box, the second string this last match, and I thought for sure it was going to do me in, but like I said, the place has been good to me, and it gave me a strike the next box, so... I'm, I'm satisfied. <laughs> You're happy the way things are going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, come back, uh, come back again next week. It'll be uh, number three in a row. We'll see if you can keep it going. I'd love to. I'd love to come back. <laughs> All right, Eric. I'll stay, stick around as long as I can. We'll see you next week. Thanks right, very much. Thanks Congratulations so much. to Eric Young. And now Tom Morgan, who is uh, still keeping it rolling here. We have not done a show here at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill without Tom Morgan. Next, next, week, <laughs> next, week, next week will be seven in a row. I, I want to ask you about last week, though, too, because we didn't get a chance to talk at the end of the show. We were running out of time. But you made a couple of incredible spare shots uh, 
to sneak into second place last week. Yeah, I was throwing a real bad ball the whole match. I just couldn't get anything going, you know. Like I say, a couple of good spare shots, but my first ball, I was lucky if I can get six down, you know. Then this week here, the ball starts mixing up and things look different. Week to week, I tell you, it does change, doesn't it? <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen next week then, right? I don't, I don't. Maybe you do. I know I don't. <laughs> well, that's why we're going to come back and find out. We hope you'll be here too, Tom. Thanks, Thanks very much. Yeah. Tom Morgan and Eric Young will both be back next week. We will be back next week, and uh, boy, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to take uh, something really special to knock Tom Morgan off right now. He has come close to being eliminated now twice, but yet he is able to pull, pull, uh, pull out a couple of big shots in the end. Well, you know, when we threw the triple strike, he was almost out right. that week, and usually when you get by something like that, you're here for a while. Next week, our uh, two incoming bowlers will be from the New Hampshire area roll-off. Rich Moran and Dave Arsenault will join Tom Morgan and Eric Young, along with Dan and I. We hope you'll be here, too. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, it's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. We're right back here next Saturday for Candlepin Skins. Have a great weekend, everybody. For Dan and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you tomorrow.